What is on, on Bolt Nation? I am Laserbolt and welcome to another DMZ guide video guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the four different new vests that are available for you to use within your operators. We're going to go over what you need to actually create them. We're going to go over its functionality and we're going to go over what are the best options to use it and in addition to that which one i consider to be the best one and the one that you should probably going be going for every single time and i'm also going to tell you guys which ones you should use depending if you're playing solo or if you're playing with a team so if this sounds like something you're definitely interested a like would be greatly appreciated don't forget we stream live on youtube twitch and kick links are down below make sure you guys follow us whatever platform you decide to choose from so with that being said guys if you need help getting these vests super fast and super easy we help on stream every single day, so stop buying hang out. So let's go over the simple thing about what the vests are and what you need to actually do to actually get them, all right? So first things first, let's start off with these, uh, the Stealth 3 Plate Vest. Now, the Stealth 3 Plate Vest is going to give you the couple uh, options or benefits. Number one, it's going to give you the Ghost Perk built-in. So that means you're going to be hidden from the UAV, you're going to uh, be hidden from portable radar, and you're going to be hidden from heartbeat sensors. The recipe that you need to do to order, be able to get this particular vest, you need two electrical components, one comic book, and one console. Basically, what you need to do is you find these items within the game. You grab these items, you take it to the buy station, you go to a barter, and you, you pretty much get the vest. It comes with a three place. The next vest we're going to be taking a look at is the com vest. Now, the com vest is actually a very interesting one because what this is going to do, it's going to boost the effectiveness of the UAV. And it's going to alert you when nearby players are by. So the alert is not like the, the kill streak where you actually get like that visual cue. It's actually an audio cue. So you got to make sure you're constantly paying attention to the audio cue. Audio cue will say operators nearby or operators close. In addition to that, if you activate a UAV, it's going to expand the radius of the UAV. And it's also going to ping the enemy that is within that UAV section. So that's why you guys see now that there's a lot of uavs active because this expands a little bit further so people know exactly where you're at now in order for you guys to build the com vest the recipes are following you need two hard drives one soothing cream and one battery so very easy easy one the hardest part about this one is finding the hard drives but other than that it should be good the next vest we're going to be taking a look guys is the medical vest and this is once again a three plated vest this allows you to revive your teammates faster and gives you faster self-revive so the, the, the pretty much the bartering system that you need here is you need three bandages, one watch, and one liquor. That's what you need to actually put this together. So it just gives you like two like benefits on this one. The next one we have is the tempered vest. Now the tempered vest is a two plate vest that instead of having uh, one plate rep, uh, be equivalent to 50 HP, each, each plate is equivalent to 75 HP. That means that you don't need to carry a lot of plates within your backpack to be able to get your help back with the temper best. Now, what you need to do to actually get this, you need two documents, one classified documents, and one sensitive documents. Later on the week, we're going to have videos going where you can actually get these for free without having to craft them. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you stay tuned for that. Now that we know how to make the vest, now that we know what the vests do, let's talk about the pros and cons, and let's start putting these within a category or which ones I believe to be the best one and why that particular option is and how effective it is depending on what type of game mode you are so let's get started with the stealth vest so the stealth vest guys is really good it's going to keep you off like i said the off the uavs it's going to keep you off the portable radars and it's going to keep you of the heartbeat sensors that's really good that means like you're like man that's a pretty good one i don't want to be seen the only problem i have with the stealth vest is that the stealth vest automatically gets negated by the comms vest i'm going to explain why so with the stealth vest, if you shoot your gun and your gun is shot, you are going to be pinged on the UAVs. This is something no one tells you about or you don't, you probably don't know about. But when you shoot your gun, which you're going to be shooting it the majority of the time, you're going to get big, be picked up by the UAV and that's going to last for six seconds. So don't think that you're super stealthy. The only way you're able to remain stealth is if you only don't shoot your gun until you actually see an enemy. But with DMZ being a thing where you have bots rolling around every single time, you're probably going to be shooting your gun and you're probably going to get pinged on the UAVs as the UAVs are almost always on now within DMZ. That's one thing with the stealth. Number two is the comms vest, as that the comms vest will be alerted if a stealth player is wearing the stealth plated vest and it's in the vicinity. So basically, if you have the stealth vest but someone has a comm vest, it automatically gets negated. If the stealth vest didn't do the, they have these two negatives, I would definitely put the stealth vest higher 
it within my category, but those are the two cons that I have with the Stealthus. Moving along with the Convest. So the Convest is really good. The only problem I currently have with the Convest is the fact that you don't always get alerted. So basically, the, the radius of the Convest is about 100 to 150 meters out, which is amazing. So you'll be able to know if players are 100 to 150 meters out. The problem I have with the Convest is that it only picks up whatever enemy is entering that radius first so for example let's say you have an enemy from the left hand side coming into that radius it'll let you guys know operators nearby now if you have someone coming in from the right hand side it doesn't give you that prop because it already gave you a prop that there's operators so it's a two-edged sword because sometimes you might think there's only one team when there could be probably multiple teams and the convest does not let you know about that so apart from that i wish that there was a thing that instead of you having to hear the audio cue, because because sometimes if you got a mortar strike coming your way, if you're in a car or, you know, the audio cues here are, are really loud, uh, you probably won't hear the audio cue about the enemies or the players coming by. And I think if they had a visual uh, cue, like the perk that we had that actually got removed, it's, um, I think, a visual cue of, like, you know, directional-wise, I think that would make the combat like, definitely top tier. Number three if we have the medical vest so the medical vest is actually pretty good the fast revive is amazing guys it is you can actually feel the difference of fast reviving and it helps you get back into battles and back to play really fast if you're playing with a team and the self revive i like how fast it is i wish it was just a tad bit faster but it does get you out of sticky situations when someone's pushing you and they down you from like i'd like say like from 50 meters out you're able to get back up and uh, get back into the fight in addition to that, I wish that the medical vest, the only downside I have is like when you're completely dead, I think if you, it should keep your vest on and uh, you should get that fast revive if someone's trying to revive you after you're completely dead. But I do understand that since you die, you lose the vest, you know, it makes sense that it doesn't do it, but I wish that would be a thing. The last one we have is the tempered vest. Now the tempered vest has a really cool advantage. The fact that you're able to have less plates. And need to play less and you're able to get back into the engagement really fast due to the fact that you can just literally pop in one plate and you're ready back to go you don't have to get 150 fully back you're easily able to get back into the fight which makes you last in fights a little bit longer because you could just easily plate up and get into that fight real fast while persons are trying to pop a three plate you're already full health by the time they're completely done so a really good best to have here uh, i do like the fact that it requires less uh pretty much less plates to use so that gives you the ability of engaging fast faster and i believe it's a very good plate but it's going to be for high skill players because what tends to happen is if you're used to the three plate system you're constantly planing up right the problem with the temper is you don't want to constantly be playing up you constantly want to be paying attention to the bottom bar to see when you actually need to plate up as opposed to just planning up to plate up so it's something that requires a high skilled player to use the vest to be able to uh, kind of you know mitigate that and it's one of the hardest vests to craft as well so with that being said we talked about the benefits we talked about the pros let me give you guys my top tier of what I think are the best vests to use. Currently right now, I'm going to put a number one priority, the medical vest. I think that vest is the top tier and is super S tier. Faster revives and being able to re self-revive a lot quicker, especially if you're playing solo. If you need to get that self-revive real fast, you got down by a, you know, by a kill streak. You got down by a one-shot sniper. You're able to self-revive really fast, really easily. If you have a teammate, you're able to pick them up, get you guys back in the fight, and turn the odds if it's a 2v1. And you down your team and you can get back to 2v2s, 3v2s. So really good vest to have. Even if you're reviving in the heavy chopper and someone downs a teammate, you're able to get him back or you're building 21, get him back easily. Number two, I have the comm vest. The comm vest is actually definitely good uh, vest to have. This is primarily, I think it's going to be a really good vest used a lot by solo players. But I, with the cons that I mentioned, I hope you guys are aware that there is a downside to when it comes to using that. So do keep that in mind. At number three, I got the Tempered Vest coming in at number three. Tempered Vest is really good. I could probably put it this in my second slot as a number two and bring the Convest to number three. But overall, in general, I think that the Convest is still pretty OP if you're running as a team because you can run two people with a Medical Vest and one with a Convest and you guys are good to go as long as you guys are sticking together. The Tempered Vest, once again, really good best to have, but you got to be able to use it correctly and not be overplating. And it, well, the cool thing about the Temper Vest, it gives you the ability to run a scavenger, uh, a secured backpack because you're able to have less, less you know, plates in there 
and still have a good amount of plates to, you know, replate up. The last one I want to recommend, guys, is the Stealth Vest. This would be the last one I would put on my list due to the fact that it has more negatives than positives in the sense of it's not doing its job completely as keeping you stealth. But I wish it would. Uh, they would probably fix this or, or buff it where it actually keeps you off the comm vest and it keeps you off the UAV even though you shoot your gun. I think that would be extremely amazing as long as you're running a suppressor. Now, with that being said, I want to know what your top tier list is. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope you're finding our videos helpful and informative. Are. Do me the huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos are live. Catch us live on YouTube, Kick, and Twitch. And the links are down below. If you need help with anything, make sure you guys let us know on the lives. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.